the bhagavad gita is one of the greatest books of knowledge and wisdom regarding human life ever written it is a myth that gita is meant only for those who opt for sanyas that is renouncing the world it would be wrong to infer that reading or study of gita takes you away from life the fact is otherwise it is that every reading of the book every reading gives you greater insight into various facets of life particularly the importance of your duty the book comprises a dialogue between lord krishna and arjun it takes place at the most inopportune opportune yes strangely befitting time that is right when the two armies of the kauravas and pandavas are at the battlefield of kurukshetra facing each other ready to fight sanjay through the grace of saint shri ved vyas ji has been endowed with the divine nobility to be able to watch the happenings of the battlefield while sitting in the palace he relates these events to his blind master king dhritarashtra the prime subject of the bhagavad gita emphasizes the need for all human beings to perform their duty it becomes explicit that the greatest happiness one can find is experienced through the successful performance of duty action has been considered as that which no mortal no one can or should ever avoid those who out of laziness and sheer habitual procrastination get into vicious cycle of physical inaction are the worst sufferers they may not be physically carrying out any work but their mind continues to do so the mind when a person is awake cannot be idle at all it doesn't remain idle even when you are asleep so therefore one should never think that inaction can ever be achieved and because of inaction you avoid all evil no it's wrong it keeps on thinking mind keeps on thinking working on one matter or the other the more you shirk your work and remain idle the more mind gets restive the heightened activity does not bring any benefit and only adds to the confusion of the mind and inertia to the body such a person's mind tends to breed various negative emotions fear jealousy greed why that fellow has gone ahead why he has progressed and in spite of the fact that i am working harder i am where i am i am educated better but still i can't make that much money all those things come to the mind when you are actually not doing work but when you are performing your duty you are totally focused you are totally engrossed in the work that you are doing such, such things will not happen now let's examine how the character of a person is formed interestingly arjun ask krishna the person who ignores the principle laid down in shastras but is full of devotion and worships demigods how will you turn his worship satviki and out with the goodness or rajsi and out with passion or tamsi and out with ignorance to this lord krishna replied devotion that arises out of one's own nature is devoid of procedural attributes as mentioned in the shastra can be either satviki or rajsi or tamsi i shall explain these to you bharat devotion of a person depends on his or her intrinsic nature 
a devoted person is as good or as bad as his devotion the person is good or bad according to his devotion according to the way he works according to the way he thinks satvik men worship devas gods rajasi men worship demigods or demons and tamsi men worship ghosts and evil spirits the person who ignores the holy scriptures devises his own imaginary form for tapa penance hard work he is full of attachment desire and pride for his own power those who slight the body and soul which in fact is my own extension you must consider them to bear dem dynamic nature they are not the person who belong to the satvik category everyone enjoys such food as is compatible with his or her nature now uh, lord krishna says that even food has an impact on your character likewise the yajna the good things that you do for the society that also has impact on your character or what you give away donations or devotional worship all these are again of three types that is satvaki rajasi and tamsi the foods which which are stable which promote health intellect lovable and juicy such foods are loved by satvik people they are the people who are endowed with goodness but the foods which are bitter sour very salty very hot that causes burning sensation and are responsible for anxiety sorrow and disease these are the foods of rajasik people but the meals which are half cooked dry emit foul odor and impure such meals are preferred by tamsik and out with ignorance those people yajna that means good work which is performed according to the established procedures while considering that it is one's duty to perform yajna should be considered as satvik yajna but yajna which is performed in order to show off with arrogance and for achieving desired results should be considered as rajas yajna ignoring the holy procedures without donating food without chanting mantras and devoid of devotion or dakshina such a yajna is of tamas category worshiping gods brahmins gurus and saints saints of wisdom with purity and simplicity and avoidance of sex and violence this is known as body related tapa speech that doesn't hurt anyone and is lovable and is also appropriate and helpful the reading of scriptures and repeating god's name these are known as the tapa of speech a delightful mind peaceful nature and one inclined to remember god and the purity of thoughts and mental processes these refer to the mind related tapa people practicing yoga who do not desire results but carry out the four set three kinds of tapa their tapa is known as satvik and out with goodness but tapa which is carried out for honor for pride or worship for any other selfish motive and the tapa which is transitory results that is known as rajas and out with passion tapa and the tapa which is performed foolishly and is hurting to the mind 
body and speech and aims at inconveniencing or hurting others is known as tamas tapa likewise donation daan is one's duty and as such donation that is given without expectation and with a feeling of generosity that you are helping others this is called satvik donation but the donation which is made with the consideration of motive with pride and honor and desire of heaven such a donation should be considered as rajas donation and the donation which is made without respect or with disdain and is given to unworthy people or is given for unworthy causes is known as tamas donation om tat sat supreme soul tat sat essence truth these three words denote the names of the omni present brahma he alone has created brahmins vedas and yajnas etc therefore all the worthy actions like yajna donation or tapa are initiated by the righteous people by pronouncing om om is always chanted before beginning yajna tapa or at the time of donation that word denotes the name of almighty to whom everything belongs therefore selfless righteous people perform holy duties like yajna tapa and donation while chanting tat sat is the name of god is repeated with devotion and purity and is also used while performing deserving duties the intent behind yajna tapa and donation is also known as sat and the duties carried out for the almighty are also known as sat arjun during one's life one always feels that he or she should do something good something which should result in having a feeling that yes they have contributed to the society but these must be considered in which way you are conducting these things satviki is the best then rajasi and tamsi that means the character of a person is known as what actually his intrinsic nature is and during the course of life what kind of actions he has been taking what kind of people he has been meeting what kind of thoughts he has been harboring so therefore overall that one must keep on thinking that you have to do something good something good because life is continuous soul is never destructed so it has to live it has you do not know where from it has come you still have the body is transient you will give it away but the soul will get into some other form so therefore one must always respect soul one must always respect that the good deeds are never going to be vanished good deeds will always be helpful in you as a person as a soul which is continuous